Don't put it on. Man, you know it is the one and only. Let's show the slim cutthroat to the bone. LLC uptown and building. Okay, so we're gonna do it all over again from the last time. What's Tell everybody, fun? I'm like, where you from? From uptown. Man, I feel like we don't gotta do that. We need to skip straight to the important shit. Let Let's them know how shit. we coming, what we got going on. What you think about that? We gonna get to all that though. Oh, yeah, I'm from uptown. <laughs> feel me? I grew up 23-27 General Persian Street. Feel me? General Persian and Mile. Okay, but we, but we still gonna, we gonna, we gonna fast forward. So, do you have any brand of projects coming up? Yeah, man, I'm working on the Trap Glory right now, you hear me? I'm going to drop that probably like April 11th. I think that's a Friday. Oh, do you have yeah, any features? Right. Do I got any features? Man, right now, I don't got no features. I'm probably going to put GI Peaches on that thing. You hear me? Um, for the most, for most part, though, I ain't really focusing on figures. I'm just focused on building. You know what I'm saying? I want the fans to hit me, you feel me? You gotta be your own yeah, I'm gonna spill shit. I'm gonna drop a couple singles that I got with hot niggas, you know what I'm saying? Featured on it. Drop a couple singles this year, so be on the lookout for that. I got a couple hot features. Feel me? But for the most part of my projects, I want y'all to hear what I got going on. Okay. Also, for some years now, you know, you've been grinding and holding it down for your daddy. Alright, right, with the company. Yeah. So, you know. I'm like, and tell us, I'm like, what has been your. I'm like, what has been your I'm like, biggest I'm like, task of just holding that, you know? It, it was holding I'm like, the record label Consistency. Down. Yeah. Consistency. That'd be my that'd be my biggest task. You know, it, it ain't, being consistent ain't as easy as people think, you know? Waking up doing something every day that don't always pay as much as something else is hard, you know? Because you're always going to lean to what pay more and, and living out here. Also, do you plan on... I'm like signing, I'm like signing, I'm like any artists? Yeah, I'm looking for artists right now. I'm looking for artists right now. I got a sign up on this for you, you know what I'm saying? Marketing and promotion, that's why I'm looking for more people to hire for my company. Feel me? Salary. That's what you're looking for, you know, for your I'm company. Look, I'm looking Tell for that. marketers, I'm looking for um, PRs, you know. Um, I'm looking for management. Um, Radio personality, host, you know, all, everything. Like, we sign, in, we sign a lot of people and we hiring people. So, you can send your resume to soldierbiz19 at gmail.com. Um, boy, giving out jobs. Yeah, we Live giving out jobs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you know, and so, how, so, so tell the people, I'm like, how long, I'm like, have you been, I'm like, putting out music? Man, I've been putting out music. Um, officially since like 2015, well since 2015, um, she murder helped me with my first project on some shit, so I put that out, um, so the slimmer and coordinated, that was one of my first projects. Okay. I had other little mixtapes, but so the slimmer and coordinated my first project I put out. Uh, also, you know, um, like since the last time we interviewed you, you know, hey, but you actually I mean, lost one person, but you lost on like Trinity. Yeah. And like one of your on like big dogs went to jail. Yeah. Out of black. So like. Yeah, and that shit. All that shit happened since that time. Yeah. That shit was that long ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Log of Black's gonna come home. You know, rest in peace, Trinity. Yeah, Log of Black's gonna come home. Um, man, I got a lot of people in jail, bro. So many people, you know. All the ghetto children out on bond. Well, Jew, he took probation, but, man, we, we having a lot of shit going on, man. The police try to keep their foot on our necks, man. We be trying to stay prayed up and stay out their way. That be the main people we be ducking. We ain't ducking no wrecks. We ain't ducking no action. We ducking them people. Straight up. That's, that's the best. So, being in the music industry for a while, now, tell us what you, um, like, enjoy most about it. Tell us what you actually, um, like, hate about it. I really just, I just got a passion for music, so I make music, you know. Fuck just it's just in me you know i just always been doing this shit like i grew up in this shit i grew up watching these niggas record five six seven years old you know what i'm saying to my dad died when i was seven you know so just seeing that shit been around that shit that shit always been a part of me it always stuck with me 
Um, I just let it craft. I don't really do it for the paper because the paper I pull out of it ain't, ain't shit compared to the paper that I put into it. So I just do it for the craft, for real, because I like to do it. I like when people say they like my shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just like cooking. When I be cooking, I like when my girl be like, man, you did your thing with this, like, you feel me? Like, I be cooking too, so, you know. You need your, like, criticism. I, I just I just like that shit, like, I like when people be like, man, look, you know what I don't like? I don't like when people be like, man, you need to come, you need to be like your dad or you, you being like your dad, because really, I'm just being myself, like, I ain't rapping about shit though. I'm rapping about shit that I did. Um, yeah. that I, like because uh, at the coming. same time, oh, you're not your daddy. You yeah, experienced man, what you your know, dad experienced. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just coming. I'm coming. You feel me? That's just how I'm built. That's what I went through. So that's what it is with me. Okay. Yeah. So you know, on like we see you travel, on like around the whole U.S. Like I want to know, on like what type of love, on like do you get? And from being, I'm like, let's just when you when you go to different cities. That's what it really be. Um, I don't really, I don't really never come off as, yeah, I'm little soldier slim, you know. Like since I was doing music, like and I did small interviews and shit, you know, since the beginning, they was fucking with me. Like you close that door if you want to. Right. Yeah, man, since I've been doing music, like, since I've been doing interviews and shit, and building my shit, like, when I go play to people, like, man, you the soldier slim. Man, I would just bump you, like, man, you know, you know, I, I stay downtown Atlanta. Man, I was jogging with my old lady one morning, you hear me? Exercising. The nigga off the FedEx truck was like, man, bump your shit right now. Really bumping my shit, like, you know what I'm saying? So, that, like, that's that be the love, like, you know, it. that's why I stay out of town, because... The love you get in your city, like people show me love in my city. Don't get me wrong, like you know, but it be on some yo daddy the king type shit, right. you know. Like when I be out of town, they be bumping my shit, like they fuck with my, like they fuck with my. They be on some we fuck with your daddy shit, but it be on some we fuck with what you doing. Yeah. You feel me? Hey, but do you feel like it's hard to actually, you know, actually build that real? I'm like momentum. I'm like that you want, and hey, because everybody always talk about your dad. Um, cause you know, at really the same because, time, oh, really you trying to be that big music artist as well. I'm trying to be that big, but at the same time, he not here to fulfill that. That's why they want to see it from me for right. real. You feel me? He not, but I'm gonna give y'all me. I ain't gonna give y'all him. You feel me? That's all I be letting them know. Like I'm gonna give y'all me and what I'm doing, what I'm going through. You feel me? Honestly, he probably ain't even see some of the shit I seen. You feel me? He probably ain't seen the paper I seen out here. You know, I'm just, you know, shit different. Like, you know, I'm 26. Yeah, to, yeah. Like, really, I, I, I would live, I, I would live his timeline at this point in my life. You feel me? He died so at 26. He right? died at 26, but he died at the beginning of his 26. You feel me? When he, like, I done made it past that time point in my life. You know, and that's a blessing. Like, I'm doing that for him. Like, you know, I'm, I'm living it, cause I could have been out here crashed out, locked up, doing life. You know what I'm saying? Smoked. You feel me? But. I'm holding it down for a reason. Speaking on just that age of being the same age when he died, do you feel like, you know, even doing a few things you did to treat you like, man, hey, but shit, I got to make it past this age. That, But that was my whole goal anyway. That was my whole goal from the jump. People think, people think because, so just know my dad, I was trying to be like, no, I was doing a lot of shit that, that could have cost me my life multiple times. Like, you know what I'm saying? For real, like, Jail, all type of shit. I was doing that shit, you know, but it wasn't because I was trying to be like my dad. It was because of this what I had to depend on at the time. You know what I'm saying? It's just with my environment. It's what I had going on at the time. That's what it was for me, you know? So that's what I did it for, you know? I'm just rap shit. I'm doing this. I'm holding this down. Like, that's the reason I invest so much money in it because I'm holding it down for him. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, but I ain't about to. something you have to do. It, it, like, you know? You got like, multiple ways to make I got, income. I got multiple ways to make income. You know what I'm saying? But I'm holding this down. Like, I'm going to take my money from other shit and put this in this and let nigga know, like, I'm holding it down. Like, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they be want to see from me. So I, I just, like, my, my fans that I started it for, I really be doing it for y'all too. You know? Real soldiers and fans. Okay. Also, you know, I'm like we just seen you. If you have one, I'm like big performance. I'm like at the I'm like M line ball with yeah, Juvenile. Yeah. And you was rap your daddy verse like you know. But how did that make you feel? 
I mean that that shit was. You did it multiple times, but it just it was at a ball. It just it just that whole setting looked like. But when you not when you not been on stage with Juvenile Buku time, you know no. that shit. Cause I, I love this shit. Is I love it like like man, man, three D T was talking and she was like, I'm nervous. You feel my hands sweating. I'm like you nervous. Like you know you you a bigger star than I am, yeah. but I ain't nervous. I love this shit like. You know what I'm saying? I went changed and went back out there and performed again. You feel me? With backing him up because that's a, that's a relationship me and him got. We can sit down and get loaded and, you know, and conversate and communicate. And, you know what I'm saying? But I don't be trying to be his friend because he older than me. He ain't not my partner. You feel me? I just, he just, oh, he an OG to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like crazy because, hey, but you know, I mean, to the world, he's juvenile, but. Hey, but to you, you know, he like he's somebody that been in your he's life. Yeah, OG to yeah, me. Yeah, he also been in your life. Yeah, he, yeah, you know, for years. So it's, it's regular. It's, fuck. I got you. Yeah. Okay. So you know, being like you know, it, like you like you also on on a different person. Cause like a lot of people don't get that. Like you know, you also like as young you was traveling from like New Orleans to Baton Rouge. So you kind of got those roots. I was from New Orleans to Baton Rouge to Mississippi. Texas, you hear me? And so you got relationships everywhere that kind of helped you. That, 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 like, I always knew, like, I'm going to go back to these places and woo do woo do So that made me not want to just stick in the city, you know what I'm saying? Like, I came back to the city and did my thing, you feel me? Like, but... It was something that you didn't have to do. Fuck no, I could have stayed gone, but I did it for... I did it for me, like, honestly, like... It's something about New Orleans, bro. It's something about New Orleans, yeah. Yeah, when I was young, I used to feel the same way. I used to like, it didn't matter why I was there, man. I want to go back home. I don't know why. I just wanted it's to go back home. New Orleans, like, yeah. some, like, I always came back home. Like, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if I might be out there for five days, I'm going to come back home for three days and go back. You know what I'm saying? Like, be, you know, mm-hmm. always moving around. Like, I was a young nigga that would buy my own train tickets and jump on the train. You feel me? And use the mega bus. You feel me? Like, niggas don't. Young nigga, I'm talking about 13, 14, world. like, you know, moving around, like, because I got people. I've been having cell phones since I was six years old, five years old, you feel me, like, really actively using. I've been having a house key since I was seven years old. My mama would leave me, and I'd be on my own, get on the bus, do whatever, like, ride my bike, I use my motorbike, you feel me, like, seven years old, like, you know, like, my mama be going to work and shit, two, three jobs, you know, like, I've been doing this, you feel me? So, like, being in the music industry for like so many years now, like, do you feel like if it has ever been one point on like we just want to give up? Yeah, I I be on that. I be on that when I don't be want to put my money into it no more. That's <laughs> that, that would it be like. And I don't stop making music. I always make music. I always buy beats. You know what I'm saying? But when I don't be want to do all the extra shit that come with it, you know what I'm saying? I will be like, man, fuck this shit. I'm just. Me and my lady bump these bitches every straight up. Like, I really be on that. Like, my, my partner will be like, man, you tripping. Like, you know, you happen to call me and they like, bitch, why you ain't drop this? I'm like, man, I recorded this shit a year ago. Man, you tripping like this. You don't smoke. even feel the same way no more. Feel me? Uh, I still drop it, though. I be putting that <laughs> shit on. I, like, I got boo songs that I don't be dropping. Like, I, just be, I just be rapping, bro, because I, I like music. You know, that's I, I like the shit. That's what I be saying. Like, it ain't, I like the shit, you know? Especially when I'm feeling good, when I got money in my pocket, you feel me? <laughs> I like this shit, like, should change nigga life. Okay. Um, also, you know, we know everybody seen you dropping back-to-back with, well, you've been dropping back-to-back mixtape videos and everything with, yeah. I mean, with a boy. So I, I want you to tell everybody, I mean, what's your relationship I'm like, with him? Man, me and Willa, that's my dog, you hear me? Really, that's the first nigga to pay me for a verse. From the city, you hear me? Years ago, we click clack after that. We started getting paper together outside of, of rap, you hear me? Um, that's my dog. I'm trying to live in violent now, right now. Videos back to back to back, like you just said, smacking the pit, pop, 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 you hear me? Straight up, Buku video. Of just, I'm like speaking on that name, you know, everyone know only where that name come from, you know, UNLV. But like, and how important it was to y'all to actually, I'm gonna like, do it again, you know, putting that back We out. wasn't, see, we didn't want to be uptown niggas living violent. We right. just uptown living violent, you feel me? We people. We ain't niggas, and I ain't no crook, you feel me? I ain't, I ain't gonna say I'm no law abiding citizen because I don't abide the law. I don't respect the law, you know? But 
I'm, I'm chilling out here, you hear me? I'm getting my paper. I'm staying out the way. Out these young cats way, I'm going to let them keep shooting that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't on that, you know what I'm saying? With that shit we used to be on, you know? But we is uptown living violent. Can we uptown with them bitches on us? Nigga run out on them. You hear me? Yeah. Speaking on, you know, you just, you know, if you had, you know, your, uh, yeah, if you're legal, yeah. like, you know, everybody, um, actually remember your, everybody remember, um, your dad was on BET, and people was like, damn, we understand nothing he was saying, so I want you to explain, like, to the world, New Orleans, I mean, legal, and, and also, if it's a Magnolia legal, you know, everybody from the Magnolia, really, say some really, let things. me tell you what it really be, let me <laughs> tell you what it really be, it, it be, niggas be saying shit, letting you know shit that a nigga really can't say, you hear me? Shit that a nigga don't really on pull to say, you know? That's what it really be. Right. You feel me? Yeah, I'm, I'm letting you know though. I ain't say you can't say I said that, right? Could you say I said that? No, but I'll let you know. Like, I was explaining to someone out of town, like, you know, just here in New Orleans, just the word yeah can mean so much. Just mean, right. mean like at least 50 different things, <laughs> good or bad. So I wanna know if how you feel about you know if how you feel about that. Just like just even using the word yeah. I love it. You go to other people's place, they be using their little words, and I be like, man, that's funny. <laughs> I, I, I like that shit too. I like going to other places and how they be you hear me? Yeah, I, I like it. Fuck. Come on, man, stop calling me. But I love other places, but like, you know, like both of us being in Atlanta. I ain't like the food that day. We was out there. I don't, I don't <laughs> like how they be. Like Atlanta, not what it used to be. Feel me? Right. I moved back. I should have just. Houston, where is that? That's why more too. people move to Houston. Like, I like I like Dallas even cooler than Atlanta. Like Atlanta on some different shit. Atlanta now. got the, got just entertainment, but like Houston popping for it. Like it got something to do every day, all day. Yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta more. Like they rob you when you go out on that line. They rob you in the Houston. I'm talking about without a gun. No, <laughs> they rob. They charge me, man. Look, they charge me twenty dollars a head to get in a spot. Right when I got in that bitch, they made me buy a bottle to sit on. The bottle was seven hundred fifty dollars, nigga. You know who was that? A fucking what a bar and grill, nigga. <laughs> Telling you, they bust your ass. Like what the fuck? You just got a thousand dollars out of me no before reason. I even order my food. And make you like, man, I'm ready to go. Man, I ain't even want. I was like, bro, this shit crazy. Like, okay, so, and so tell us, I'm like, where you see your music career going? I'm like, three years from now. Hopefully up. If not, one of these young boys, I'm about to put this bag behind, I'm gonna go up. You hear me? Cutthroat gonna expand. You feel me? Okay. Um, so tell us. That's what I do want to say. We cutthroat committed, cutthroat. Committed and voluntarily through the years, cutthroat to the bone. We we that you hear me? Them other niggas, them other niggas, them other cats that be rocking. Me not that you hear me? That what I wanted to say. <laughs> so tell us, I'm like, what's your advice to one of the younger artists that's trying to follow on like your footsteps? Stack your paper. Don't be blowing your paper. Doesn't boot ass holes. You hear me? Keep your paper, stack your paper, don't go to strip clubs and uh, you can get fresh when you shoot your video, you hear me? Stay in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Stay on your grind, shoot your, you hear me? Get your, you want to do it, get your grind on, focus. You hear me? Do it consistently. Every time you get some money, stack that paper up, you hear me? Yeah. Get you some income, you know what I'm saying? It don't really take much, it don't take you all, but it's, you know what I'm saying? You can do it. Okay. And so tell us, um, you know, like what's next for you? If do you plan on dropping merch? If you have a bigger feature? Man, I got Soldier Apparel, man. Soldier Apparel, bro. That's what y'all need to be on the lookout for. Soldier Apparel, bro. Watch this shit that's coming. You hear me? Watch this shit. Watch. Watch. Real, real designer type gear. You hear me? Fire shit. Soldier Apparel. Be on the lookout for that, bro. Soldier Apparel Camouflage Cannabis Company. You hear me? Straight up. That's what I'm focused on. You hear me? Cut through to the bone. Okay, and also, uh, but last but not least, tell everybody, only like, where can they find you at? On social media, just other music platforms. Little Soldier Slim 3 on all social media, Twitter, Instagram. Little Soldier Slim on Facebook. Little Soldier Slim on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm always dropping vlogs and shit. Fuck, you you can tune into my life and see what I got going on. Active. Active. Z, make a scream. N-O-L-A-Z-I-N-E. 
make them S-C-R-E-A-M, scream, Nola Zine, make them scream, you heard me.